five years, I knew that it was likely that the day that we are released and are no longer prisoners would be the happiest day of my life. And I'm certain that was true. But what has surprised me is that the handling of the situation by the Pakistanis, uh, by the men who have protected us, the men who have rescued us, the men who have made all of this possible, has actually made our second day even better than our first day of tasting freedom. And that now we are overwhelmed even more than we were by our initial freedom, by the freedom, the hospitality, and the brotherhood that we share with these men. And our gratitude is boundless. It has been incredibly professional. I have been amazed. I have seen uh, in Canada and the United States, uh, I have seen similar operations that have been bungled much, very badly, and were not handled as professionally. But this has been a tremendously uh, precision work. It has been tremendously professional. It has been tremendously secure for my family and they have taken every effort to make things as easy as possible on the children, integrating them into society. These are children who, three days ago, they did not know what a toilet looks like. They use a bucket. Three days ago, they do not know what a light is or what a door is, except that it is a metal thing that is locked in their face to make them a prisoner. And now they are seeing houses, they are seeing food, they are seeing gifts, all of this. And they are doing very well, alhamdulillah. And we also thank everybody who has made this possible for them to uh, integrate into society and to have a life that they could otherwise never have. Of the different agencies have been overlapping with each other and working together. And each time that we are moved, we are handled, we are talking to another agency, we are just increasingly impressed by the fact that it is not a rare oddity. It is not that there is one or two good men who are serving Pakistan in this fashion. It is actually everyone we meet who it is, whether he is the driver of the jeep, or he is the guard outside the door, or he is the man who is taking information. All of them have been incredibly uh, attentive and incredibly professional, and I thank them all. For five years, I am raising my family amid a group of bandits, of dacoits, who call themselves Muslim, but are not such. And I have to try to teach religion to my children, and to teach them Islam, but to say, do not think that these bad men are Muslims. Do not judge Islam of this. And now that we are in safe hands, now that we are free, I can tell my children, these men are the good men. These men are the good Muslims. And they have saved us, and they have acted in proper ways. They have treated my wife with the utmost of respect. They have treated my children with the utmost of respect. And so I can honestly now say to my children, these are the Muslims. These are our brothers. I mean all of the people who have helped us in Pakistan, uh, civilian and otherwise, who uh, have worked to undermine the criminality that was holding us hostage. The day that we are released and there is the firefight and men from the Pakistani ISI, the Pakistani army, all of you, uh, a major comes over to me. Well, there is still, I have blood on me. There are, the street is chaos. And he says to me, in the American media, they say, that we support the Haqqani network and that we make it possible. Today you have seen the truth. Did we not put bullets in those bastards? And so I can say to you, I did see the truth. And the truth was, that car was riddled with bullets. The ISI and the army got between the criminals and the car to make sure that the prisoners were safe and my family was safe. And they put them to flight and they ran like cowards. And this is proof enough to me that the Pakistanis are doing everything to their utmost to try to reduce the criminality in the country, to reduce the criminality in neighboring countries, and to reduce the criminality in the own
and may God make them successful in this. Our parents are mostly just overwhelmed with emotion right now. Uh, I'm not sure they believe this day would ever come. And so they are still in shock at the fact that uh, things have ended on such a positive note that it is not that they got back a son but lost a daughter or they got back a daughter and lost a son or they lost a grandchild but that all of the children who survived captivity survived the release and have survived uh, now and they are doing quite well alhamdulillah God willing the Western media reports will look at Pakistan a little bit differently now after this has happened and will understand that it is not a third world disaster area run by incompetent people at all. It is actually uh, on the world stage and on the front lines. Uh, and that I also pray that the Islamic Ummah, who hears many conflicting stories, about the government, I cannot speak to the truth of all of them, or the lies of all of them, but I can tell you that what I have seen with my own eyes, these men are Muslims, and they are brothers, and this is all, this is enough. I am not able to offer a judgment on the actions of uh, those in Afghanistan. Uh, they may have worked uh, behind the scenes, but I am not able to speak to this. I, I am unable to speak to what the Afghan government may do or may not do in Afghanistan, because for five years, where we spend a large bulk of that time in Afghanistan, I do not see the presence of Afghan soldiers. I do not see control of Afghan government in these areas at all. The area, some areas may be controlled by Taliban, some areas may be controlled by Mujahideen, some areas are certainly controlled by criminals, and some areas are completely uncontrolled. The men who kidnapped us did not even make a pretense of being Muslim. From the time halfway through our captivity, they even ceased to call themselves Mujahideen. They were undoubtedly criminals. They were undoubtedly pagans. They were directed by commanders who were not guided by Islam, and we're not even pretending that they were guided by Islam. They were guided by external factors and guided by their own agendas. I agree that their religion was completely absent and that too. There are good Muslims, there are bad Muslims, and there are those who are not Muslim, they are pagan. The criminals who held us, they were not good Muslims, they were not even bad Muslims. They were pagan. 